have increased by 200% in the last 15 years, killing nearly 30,000 people last year alone. And statistics show why the problem is hitting home with mainstream Americans. Nearly 90% of those trying heroin for the first time are white, young and middle class. The US president is seeking more than $1 billion from lawmakers to deal with the problem. North America correspondent Stephanie March is in New Hampshire ahead of this week's presidential primary. In check the area, 92 Fremont. Car, car, a couple of kids going through a shed. The quiet streets of Manchester hold a dark secret. This epidemic that everybody's speaking of is, is it. It's exactly what it is. In the five years Officer Derek Feather has patrolled these streets, he's seen the number of drug overdoses skyrocket. They have a tendency to hang out in the alleys. They lean against the fence, they hide behind a trash barrel, they use their drugs there and they'll enjoy their high. Now when you see that heroin is less than a six pack of beer, that's a problem. Local authorities are struggling to deal with the epidemic. More than 400 people died from drug overdoses in the state last year, up from less than 100 in 2013. It's crossed all lines of whatever you would think would be the normal person taking heroin. It's gone from rich to poor, gone from white to black, it's gone from young to old. The way it works inside the kit <clears throat> has two syringes, in two doses of naloxone. Naloxone's a drug that reverses the effects of an overdose. Last year, it saved Casey Curavan's life. It takes a couple minutes for it to work. Um, I, I had just woken up in the backseat of a car. My hands were really cold, my face was really cold. Like many others in this part of America, Casey Curavan's drug addiction began with him using the painkiller OxyContin. And we knew where all those were coming from. They were coming from Florida, from the pain clinics down south. And, um, but once that kind of, that got shut down, all of a sudden there was heroin everywhere. In recent months, the city's drug problem has been thrust into the national spotlight. Drug addiction is not just a concern of residents here in New Hampshire, it's also become a major focal point for candidates on the campaign trail. And some know firsthand the perils of drug addiction. We lost our daughter to addictions. Um, she died at 34. Republican Iowa caucus winner Ted Cruz's sister Miriam died of an overdose a few years ago. Joey, her son, found her in her bed. The coroner ruled it accidental. Um, we'll never know. We just got the call one day that Miriam was gone. Who's going to get your vote? At this recovery clinic in downtown Manchester, clients are taking the election season seriously. There are 23 million Americans in recovery. How many family members do they have? Millions and millions of people can relate to this issue. She says there's a lot the next president can do. I'm still seeing family members in here that are cashing in retirement funds, college funds to get their children help. And that's awful. Thanks to support from a recovery program, Casey Curavan hasn't had a hit of heroin since August and is turning his life around. Today's the day I got custody back of my son. How does that feel? It's pretty kick-ass. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. He hopes with the right leadership, other drug users in America can follow the path to recovery. Stephanie March, ABC News, Manchester. Across Asia, more than one and a half...